So what colour are we going to give you, little mate? Blue. You're going to get a blue colour. My name's Rob Tunks. I was fortunate to be in the right place at the right time. Started my own business and um, yeah, managed to retire at 30, wiring up computer networks. So I um, bought a property in Eden Hope, so we're about 7k south of Eden Hope. Yeah, we bought this place and we're like, now what do we do? We bought a dog, some sheep, and then we're like, now what do we do? <laughs> Way back! Bye, back! Good boy, mate! Hey, Jake. Hey. Awesome. Good surprise for you, mate. Thank you very much. Beautiful. Hey. What a dog. Yes, yeah, is a ripper. Thank you very much. Hey. We've got the little blue collared fella. I'm not sure how bright he is, we'll wait and see. But he's outgoing, he's got a great nature, and to complement the other dogs in his team, I've chosen this one for you. Good puppy! Good puppy! What a good puppy! What a good puppy! Yeah, we call him Lucifer because he's the little devil on the shoulder. <laughs> like, if there's something bad to do and something good to do, he's going to do the bad. Stop there, stop, Luce! Yeah, he's, he's very mischievous. Hey, that's not the rules. Luce! Hey! Like, and I put a dog bed in there and like 10 minutes later, there's this dog bed that's exploded around his cage. Like, he just wants to find something bad to do. But you want a bit of that. You want a bit of rebel in them. Yeah. Loose, buddy, good work. Fortunately, we got connected to Neil McDonald and started doing his schools and started a long process with building pups up and training them and working the livestock. And yeah, it's, taken, it's been a long process to learn to do it. So we've got approximately 1,500 acres. About 400 of that is scrub. The rest of it's grazing. We run about one sheep to the acre, which is less than we could do. But you're not in farming for the exorbitant profits, that's for sure. You're, in it, you're going to do it for the lifestyle. So I like dogs. There's dogs barking. <laughs> so yeah, I, I did it because, yeah, I, I like dogs. I like working with livestock. That's why I end up here. Get up. Get out of the car. Dogs have got their place if, you, if you've if you got a passion for it and you've got the skill to manage them. Jumpy, give me a mate. Well, you've got to love them. They won't work for you if you don't. Good dog. Watch him. Good girl. There's a whole lot of benefits that run through from dogs. You've got huge benefits for the life of the animal going forward and the occupational health and safety. Come on, mate. Come on, Lambsies. Lambsy, Lambsies. The whole business of this farm is animal welfare for the sheep that are producing the money. Everything's got to be focused around managing them and managing their, their headspace so they're as calm and co as cooperative as they can be. And good dogs will do that. They find the sweet spot where you're, you're, you're applying pressure on the livestock and the livestock are responding in a way that's not frightening them. What you want is your dogs to be respectful of the livestock. And you can see here there's lambs and the dogs are being 100% respectful of them. And they're sitting down, they're not, not applying pressure unless the sheep does something wrong and then the dogs will apply a tiny bit of pressure. You've got to be super careful when you've got young lambs. So the dogs have to be super respectful of that and that's just, that's all instinct to it, it's not training. My aim is to have a pup that'll pretty much do this. What a dog. Luce, good boy buddy. There's glimpses of really good work in him. Hopefully I don't recommend going forward that natural instinct stays there. So I've got to be careful not to strip any of that natural sit and the, and the stalking. That was real good, real good work, mate. Yeah, he's got a lot of style. 